It's really amazing to me the progress that Hannah and her colleagues have made over the past few years. And one of the incredible things is that, is that they've discovered mutations in a whole host of genes, any one of which can cause diamond black fan anemia. And as a scientist, this is exciting because it turns out that all these genes encode different parts of one common structure, the ribosome, which is responsible for making proteins in our cells. By knowing that all of these genes have this function in common, the hope is that we can now develop a directed therapy that would be useful for treating patients. And in addition, for families who have, carry a mutation in one of these known genes, they can be offered prenatal diagnosis and genetic counseling to hopefully avoid the birth of additional affected children. Well, so as Hannah has told you, diamond black fan anemia is a very rare disease. And as a result, we need to assemble larger cohorts of patients than would be seen at any one institution. So the research program here at Children's Hospital, which is actually part of the Manton Center for Orphan Disease Research, a center focused on the study of rare diseases, actually collaborates with a number of people both around the United States and in fact around the world. In particular, we have close collaborations with a group known as the Diamond Black Fan Anemia Registry, or DBAR, based in New York City. And in addition, we collaborate with researchers at the NIH in Washington, D.C., and extensively with a number of physicians and other researchers in Europe, particularly in Germany, in Poland, England, and so on. And it's really through this international collaboration that we're able to make progress by amassing enough patients to study and comparing results to what other researchers find in other places.